What's up, YouTube? This is Rick, and I'm here reviewing the Deus Mod Prism. I received this mod as a gift um, that I won in a contest on Facebook from Deus Mods. Um, and part of my winnings was to do a full review on the mod. So let's go ahead and get into it. Right here you have the package, which it is a nice, cute little package. Um, it's the best that I can describe it. You have the Deus Mods logo on the front, and you have the Deus Mods website on the side. And that is basically the outside of the box. Um, it does come wrapped in plastic, as mine did, which I have right here with the serial number written on it. Um, and if you guys are wondering, no, uh, I don't have really big hands, okay? This is a super tiny mod. Um, and just so you guys don't think I'm playing tricks with you, this is it next to a 16, 18650 battery. And this right here is already in 350 mode. Okay. Uh, the looks of the mod. Um, as you can see here, you have the Deus Mods logo. You have air, two air holes on the back um, that are just on opposite sides of the serial number, which is etched in the back as well. Um, it is a telescopic mod. Uh, the material is made out of food grade 304 stainless steel and it is polished shiny and silky smooth to the touch that it 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 almost feels weird in your hand um, one complaint that I do have to say um, I can't find it anymore um, there was a there it is there was a machining Nick um, in the just above the air hole um, when I got it out of the package I mean there's a couple little nicks and scratches now because I've had it for about a week now um, not nicks but just a couple little scratches from it being in the pocket but that was one thing that um, immediately I noticed when I got it out of the package um, the other aesthetics here um, the looks these little uh, I don't even know how to, to explain what they are, but the design they put into it, it just, it, it goes with it. It's, it's awesome. It also has the hexagon shape, so it will not roll on surfaces. You can lay it flat. Um, here's the button. I believe this is the Korean sun um, with the yin and yang symbol in it. It is a spring-loaded button, but it is super 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 smooth do have a reverse threaded locking ring um, on the top you do have a nice little well here as well as you have your air hole cutouts for uh, your tanks that require air you know air from the bottom your BCC's or uh, DCT's or what have you um, the firing pin is a floating firing pin, which is a plus as well. Let's go ahead and take it apart for you here. I can go ahead and show you the inside of the contacts. Ouch. Take the tubes out here. I probably just put a nice little nick in it that I did not want. That's great. That's one tube. Okay, this one's almost out. 
All right, another thing that I did notice, as you can see on the inside, um, from the machining, from drilling out the air holes, it left some burrs on the inside. Now, I haven't gone down with the Dremel because I'm afraid to mess up the threading. Um, I did find that out the hard way as it caught on my skin when I, my tube went a little far in. It was stuck, and I was spinning it out, and it just kept catching. So that's something you guys may want to note on that. That was not a plus for me on that. I think the attention to detail on that could have been a little bit better. Okay. Um, but you do have your tubes here. Um, what you may notice here is the super smooth button and the large surface contact, which they are 99.25% silver plated copper contacts. And you have the bottom and you also have the top. Um, I don't have a screwdriver here to show you, but this again is a floating contact so you can make your Addies sit flush. I'll go ahead and screw on my Igo here. Mm, that one always sits flush, huh? You didn't get to notice that, but it does sit perfectly flush. Let's go ahead and put this back together and go ahead and give you guys a demonstration of it. Now, I will note something here that I did find fantastic. Uh, I mean, it is because it is a telescopic mod, um, but I loved it because it gives it a seamless look um, as you see sometimes the burrs catch on the buttons too I'm on the batteries which isn't like I said a positive note for me Now, as you see, I'm able to, and I like this about this telescopic mod, I can line up my logo from my Addy and my logo from my mod on the same side, which makes it, it just looks good. It's it's a plus. It's uh, it, it looks thought out in a way. I mean, it's my air holes are aligned perfect on my, or no, they're not. Now they are. Air holes are aligned perfect on it. So it just looks good. I have both forward facing. Um, the other thing I do want to note is I did see the Rip Trippers video on this. And he was having a problem with this button. Now mine does not. I can fire on corners all the way around and center. Um, I think his was just a fluke. Um, but it did not happen to mine. And as you see here, I mean, it's just a, it's a beautiful mod. I, I have, other than the two minute complaints, it fires every single time. Um, it hits like a freaking freight train, and I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that here for you. Um, and it's just, it's awesome all the way around. Um, so I do want to give a good thumbs up for an excellent, excellent, excellent telescopic mod. Um, and, I mean, as you can see, this is already in full 18650 mode. And it's not that big at all. Um, it's, I like these, this part, how they did the telescopic because you can actually get your fingers your you know in between here and it's like a grip so you're not going to lose this you shouldn't you feel like you're going to lose it but you're not which is a good thing i think that was also a good thought out design that they did with this um it's it fits really good in your hand it's not a super 
thick or a super thin mod. Um, I, do, I can't find my calipers to actually measure it, um, but it's, it's an awesome, awesome mod. Let me go ahead and flip the camera around, and I will go ahead and do a demonstration for you guys here. Alright guys, here's the demonstration. This is my dual dragon coil. I'm going to go ahead and drip uh, five pawns queen side onto it for you. Um, I got this from Lucid Vapors, so I do want to give a shout out to Lucid Vapors for supplying this for my video. Thank you Chris and Mindy over there. You guys are awesome. Alright, as you can see, this hits like a freight train. It's hitting hard. So, let's check it out. Alright, so there you guys have it. This is the Deus Prism Mod. Um, check them out, www.deusmods.com. I will leave the links down below. Um, thank you for watching my review. If you have any other questions about the mod, please feel free to leave a comment below. Um, I'll leave, like I said, all the links down below. Um, please like and subscribe if you have not already. Um, again, thank you Chris and Deus Mods for producing such a fine mod and for uh, allowing me to do this review as well for the contest um, that I entered to win the mod. Um, that's all that I have for today you guys. Thanks for watching and vape hard.